All right, it's the last region, uh, the Midwest region. Um, Name-wise, on paper, we have the biggest schools here. Number one seed, Wichita State. Number two, Michigan. Number three, Duke. Number four, Louisville. Um, you also got Kentucky in there, Texas in there, UMass. Um, some big schools. Uh, this this in, this one is intriguing bracket, an intriguing region. I think it's uh, people are making it more difficult, or you know, people are not on the Wichita State bandwagon, or just don't believe in them. I do. I think Wichita State gets by um, Kansas State or Kentucky. I do think Kansas State maybe. I'm, I've been. I thought Kentucky all along. I think Kansas State maybe punches Kentucky in the mouth and doesn't even have to deal with Wichita State. Doesn't even have to deal with Kentucky. Wichita State beats Kansas State. I think uh, St. Louis Louisville. I think it's a great second round matchup. I think people are sleeping on St. Louis. I think they have this. They they. They mold perfectly against Louisville. I think they're a bad matchup for Louisville because I think they're a similar team. I don't think Louisville, they, they, they can match St. Louis, Louisville on toughness. They can match them on uh, Montrez Harrell with Dwayne Evans, Jordair Jett with Russ Smith. Uh, the senior leadership been there. I'd like St. Louis to knock off Louisville in the second round or in the round of 32. I think St. Louis with Chelsea State, Sweet 16. I also think... Um, I think Arizona State gets past Texas. I like Arizona State versus Michigan. I got Michigan moving on to Sweet 16. Another upset, Duke-UMass. Uh, by the way, UMass-Iowa is a tough game. I could see Iowa making a run uh, getting past UMass, but I'm sorry. I think UMass beats Iowa. Chaz Williams, the senior point guard, leads this team. And not only do they beat Iowa, I think UMass knocks off Duke. So I think in this region, and I think this is where some upsets are going to kill people, Duke's going to go down in the second round to UMass. Louisville's going to drop to St. Louis. We get that set of UMass, Michigan, Wichita State, St. Louis in the Sweet 16. <clears throat> Wichita State played St. Louis earlier in the season, beat St. Louis by five in a great game, but I'm going Wichita State beats them again. And I think UMass continues the run. I think UMass is a big, a big run team this year with Chaz Williams, the point guard, maybe the toughest player in the entire bracket, Chaz Williams. 5'6", but plays with the heart of a 7-footer. UMass knocks off Duke, then goes Sweet 16, knocks off Michigan, and I see Wichita State, UMass, Elite 8. I love it. Um, I'll reveal my whole Final Four soon, but for now, Elite 8. I think I'm going UCLA. This is on paper. Like I have different options, but right now I think my favorite Elite 8 is UCLA, New Mexico, Michigan State, North Carolina, Gonzaga, Creighton, Wichita State, UMass. March Madness, baby, it's going to be crazy. That's my final region in the Midwest region. Um, two players to watch, Chaz Williams, point guard for UMass. I think he's someone to watch out for. And Jordair Jett, point guard for St. Louis. Point guard for St. Louis. Jordair Jett and Chaz Williams. Remember those names. All right, peace, love, cheers.